Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're checking out a TV that truly sets the standard for home decor. I'm talking about the Samsung 2020 frame TV, because you know, honestly, if you have a home, you gotta make it look good. At least that's what the missus says. So let's find out. So if you guys are joining me for the first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get notified about videos like this in the future. Now the 2020 frame TV is what I do have in my house. And if you were watching videos on the channel, you saw my Alexa video where I kind of teased the frame TV and Board Femme did a full breakdown of how the frame TV fits her stylish decor and everything she's done in this home. Now for me, of course, you guys know I'm a gamer, but definitely check out her video because she gives a detailed breakdown of how you can actually make this thing look fantastic. Now, I'll leave that all to her because I care about games and gaming on TVs. Now the Frame TV, of course, has a lot of features, right? It's a great television set. It's 100% color volume, uh, of course, which you expect from Samsung. And this is in tune to be something that you can actually have as a, a frame on your wall. Now, it ranges from sizes from 32 inches all the way to 75. We have the 65 inch variant here in the house and it looks absolutely fantastic. So you can go ahead and switch your images if you want to or apply images of your own directly, whether it's photos or wallpapers, whatever you choose. But you ask it, okay, Thunder E, that's, that's pretty cool. That's fantastic, it looks great. When I eventually have guests, they'll see the TV and go, wow, that is an awesome thing to me. And then you're going, nah, mate, you know, it's a TV, something like that, right? But what about the other features? What are the technical specs that you care about? Like, of course, eARC, HDMI 2.1, do we have it on the frame TV? So, as you'd expect, the frame comes with a one connector box, and the one connector box has an eARC port there, as well as HDMI 2.1 port for of course, your game consoles. Now, I have my Xbox One S connected to this, and when you look through, of course, the display specs of the Xbox One X shows for the TV, it does support 4K 60 and 4K 120, so we are good to go. It supports all the features except Dolby Atmos, so if you have a frame TV, guys, you can definitely go ahead and start gaming. And the gameplay sessions felt really smooth, uninterrupted, really nice on this TV. And that 100% color volume really comes to play when you are gaming. It looks really vibrant and fresh. If you're going from titles like, you know, Mortal Kombat, or going to something with rich backgrounds like Forza 4 Horizon, or even something as intense with color and detail like Cyberpunk 2077. I know a lot of you are probably still pissed at that game, but I like it. It plays well. Uh, it's really solid on the Xbox. And stay tuned, I will have my three month review of the Xbox One S because I think that's a console people are sleeping on. But anyway, back to the whole gaming process with this TV. Now, as a gamer, if you have a frame TV and you want the aesthetics, you want a game, it will provide that for you quite effectively. And I was actually quite shocked though. I expected to see more jitteriness, even though it's got a game mode and something Samsung TVs have had for a while. But I expected to see something a little bit lackluster and I was truly impressed. Now the other side of the frame TV I do like, which has nothing to do with gaming, is the fact that you can change the bezels of your TV. So I currently have a brown bezel, a light brown bezel, you can change it to something black, they're different colors. In the 2021 ver variant, they are more colors, which you can still use on 2020, which is nice. And what I've seen though spec-wise, the 2021 and 2020 are very similar. So if you wanna save costs, maybe the 2020 is a good version for you. Now I also mixed it up and did some cloud streaming games with Luna from Amazon. And uh, it played really well. Sonic the Hedgehog went really smooth, as well as also Control, which is a game that I'm beginning to get into. Now, of course, this has nothing to do with the direct performance of the TV, but also showcases the Wi-Fi connectivity. That is something in the past the Samsung TVs have not done too well. And it's good to see that here, even though this is not a Wi-Fi 6 TV, but a Wi-Fi 5, connectivity was strong, streaming was really solid overall, and it handled things really, really well. 
Now, when I said in the past, there's an issue because a few of my TVs, Samsung TVs in the past, have had to use a direct ethernet connection to get the best connectivity for the TV, so that's great. Of course, you do have your full set of applications where you can stream Netflix, Hulu, uh, HBO Max, you name it. But it's also got some other features like, of course, multi-view, where you can have two screen options at the same time. So you've got basically picture in picture, I can have my smartphone on one end, and I can also have uh, another piece of content on the other. Sadly, it doesn't support uh, uh, content from the Xbox at this point in time. It just didn't give me that option. I don't know, maybe it's something my HDMI cable, but if it works for you, let me know. So what's the final verdict on the Frame TV? I have to say though, I was a bit skeptical in the past about the Frame because I thought, well, it was a cool idea. It looks nice and it's great. But for me, I think it actually hits all the marks. Now, it's not going to have all the specs as the, the Q90 series or the Q900. Of course, those are your powerhouse TVs. This is a TV that kind of straddles the line between uh, beautiful aesthetics and also functionality that hits the mark quite well. You've got something that in your living room will look great. You can change the... Uh, paintings to match your style, how you feel that day, and also if you have guests coming over. Uh, you've got the ability to go into the art store and uh, subscribe for the membership and have different artworks if you start something you like. And also it's got that ambient mode, which is pretty awesome as well, just, you know, in terms of giving you nice detailed graphics that you don't have to actually use a lot of power for. And then the other side, you can game as much as you want and you'll still get the full gaming benefits. I can ramble on and on about gaming on this TV, but I will say if you want to see what it actually looks like aesthetically, let's head over to Board Femme's video, see how she does it, and always enjoy your entertainment.